everyone welcome back to the channel today i am going to build this chair it's a very simple chair that i got from ikea it's gonna be a chair that i want to rest on or the kids can sit on in this room that is going to be an office and study room nolimira i think that's what it's called it comes in two pieces so it comes with this big piece which is the actual chair and then it comes with this other piece which would make up the legs of the chair and this is only 50 pounds so let's get started So we have four pieces of wood, as you can see, and we have really big screws, <laughs> and we have the instruction, okay? So let's first check to make sure that we have all of those. We have one of this um, screwdriver type things. We should have four of that screw. One, two, three, four. We need four of the big ones. And it comes with that piece. So four of those and four of those. Four. And then four of these. There we go, everything's complete. Now, let us try and build this chair. Cleaning instructions or care instructions, wipe clean with a damp cloth, and you can also vacuum clean. Very good to know. Get rid of the box. So, first thing we need to do is make sure our instruction is not upside down. It looks like we're gonna take one of this bent wooden part and one of this straight one or actually both of them yeah and then we are going to what are we gonna do oh okay so let me see so this is what it looks like there's supposed to be two holes okay there we go now that looks the same so we have the two holes I don't know if you can see this properly let me just adjust all right so now we have those two holes we've got those holes at the top and another two holes there when you have the the straight one there's a hole here and there's a hole there right so that hole should line up See, that hole should line up with the smaller hole, like so. Because what's going to happen is, I'm going to turn this around. We're going to put the screw on that, which is, it looks like it's the long one. Yeah, it will be this one. So remove this bit. So we're going to put the long screw here. And then I have the long screw there and then on that hole we put this bit this part where you can turn it using a screwdriver or a Phillips should be facing outward like that and then we're gonna try oh and put this through ah! okay let's do it this way because that is so tricky so. should go <laughs> this is not going well for me. 
there's the home. I'm gonna do it this way then. Okay. Oh, it's actually easy to turn. There we go. Well, that was easy. Tighten. And let us not be clumsy dropping our tools. Right. Can you even see? I'm not looking at the camera. Is that tight enough? I'm not very strong. But here we go. <laughs> okay, I think that's tight enough for now. I'm probably gonna ask my husband to tighten this even more for me because Yeah, just in case So that is one done. So we are going to do the same thing on the other side Can do that oh that's a little bit crooked can you see that's a bit crooked i'm just gonna loosen it a bit and fix that because it's a little crooked that's better so now we're gonna do the same on the other side Okay, so the small hole should match this other small hole. And we're going to get the big screw in this one. Take that bit off. And let me just see. So I'm going to take the screw, make sure it goes through. Why is it not going through? It's supposed to go through like the other one. Uh oh. Yeah, it should go through like that. Right. It should be like a really, really easy job, but I'm just not. Oh, there we go. Went through. I don't know if you can see actually, but yeah, it's went through so now i'm just gonna take the partner part and adjust it and then we're gonna go and screw it in like we did the other one making sure that it's not crooked like i did the other one as well so I'm going to turn this I'm not going to tighten it too much for now because I want to make sure it's not crooked when I attach the other armrest so once that's done we're going to take the fourth and last wooden piece and do the same thing so basically so that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to put the screws in again and the last two screws on here. So I'm going to put the last two screws here and on the other side. Okay, so as you can see, I finished 
putting the screws on the base of the chair. So it's at an angle. The part of the wooden frame that is lower is going to be the back where the back of the chair is going to be and the higher um, part is going to be the front so this is the chair and it's going to look like this basically that's what it's going to look like but of course we need to screw the chair onto the frame so the backrest that's what it looks like and the seat has this curve there's a curve bit so that's how you know that that's the seat part and that's the part that goes on the higher part of the frame so let's go ahead and put the screws in so we can use our chair I just turned the chair around so underneath the seat you will see the holes so there's there that one there and there's another two on the other side we're basically going to screw them here you know through there if you can see that so there's holes there and also on the other um, side we're gonna be using these screws and these so as you can see this part here one side is flat and the other one is curved. The curved part is the one that attaches, uh, as I was explaining, the curved part is the one that sort of grabs onto the seat because there's like a metal, round metal bit here, which is the frame of the actual, you know, backrest and seat. So the curved part touches that. And then the flat part touches the wooden frame. And then we are going to insert the screw through the wooden frame, through this, and onto the metal frame. I hope that makes sense. This is trickier than I thought. Maybe I'll try a different way. I'll have to do it this way. I think. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's so hard. This is, I'm finding it quite tricky. Don't know why. I'm not thinking so holding down. <sighs> right. It's just, it's just me, maybe. It's straightforward. The instruction is straightforward. It's just that I'm having a difficult time making it go through the. Oh, I think I got it now. There we go. Finally. There we go. So, yeah. So, that's basically what we're going to be doing on all four holes. Two on each side. Okay. So, that is our chair finish. I must say that that 
hard putting in the last four screws that was the most challenging for me because i don't know you really have to like press hard and to try to screw in through to the metal bit but yes that is our chair finished anyway it's quite comfy i like it um I wanted to have some kind of a sofa, like a really small sofa in this room, but as you can see, there's really no space for a sofa here. But this chair is perfect because even though you're just sitting down, it still feels like you're lounging when you're sitting on it because of the angle and the way it supports your back and it's not hard, not soft. It's just a perfect firmness, I would say and yes that is our chair thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you again next time bye don't forget to subscribe for more videos and if you like this one give it a thumbs up and share